What are you at, ladies and gentlemen? It is I, Adredden, and right now I am at my Adredden Scientific Base. Uh, it is a custom base that I'm going to be working on to um, basically just show you some different things I've been experimenting with in creative to help with a fall base. I think the results have been pretty pretty good so far. So um, yeah, let me show you a tour of the base. Okay, so here's the beginning part. It's not really a real base, but you know, it's kind of cool as though it would function as one. Um, basically, we go through all these locked doors. I'm just going to leave the rest of them open. Here's one, and here is the entrance to the lower area. Down here we have our observation room, slash coffee space. Uh, out here, I have already been using this. We'll come back out here, it's the spike area. But this is a little office. We sit down here sometimes and we um, observe how zombies behave after they've fallen a large number of blocks and have undergone basically fusion with the ground. Well, let's take a look out here. Dang, bodies. Oh. All right. Let's take a look. What do we have? So basically we just have a large fall trap area and yeah so the top is at 65 way up there and the floor is at 31 so that's that's uh, 31, 32, 34, I don't know, something in there. It's enough to kill them most of the time. And anyway so what I'm gonna do is basically I I don't actually summon a horde, I just summon about 25 of them at a time and I look at how much time it takes for them to fall off of the edge. See this is a bit of a structure I'm building. And then we rerun it again and again with different um, structures up there that have been built and we see how many fall off, how fast, because the point is how quickly you can get them to fall off. So that's what's going on here. I compare the results and um, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know if the signs are going to get in the way, but we will find out. Oh, I'll meet you guys back at the top. All right, so here we are. We have a simple little base. Mostly this is all just for extra little bits. Um, but the point of this here is that the zombies will walk out onto these, and ideally they will increase the rate at which they fall into your traps, right? Because, like, I've seen them just kind of hang out on the edges and run around, and that's not what we like, right? This is where they all be summoned from, and they walk over here, and they, depending on the configuration, they take some time or whatever to fall through. So let's begin the testing procedure. Here is a nice little observation area, and yeah, so let's let's do this.
Okay guys, so I think you can see that the the wooden pole supports, probably the concrete or metal ones as, as well, are fine. Uh, seem to be the best. They allow the zombies to walk across them, and then once they're walking, they tend to fall through the little gaps, and it seems to be a pretty efficient way to get them to crawl off the edge of the fall trap. Hopefully that helps your base. All right, so here we have the different uh, data that I collected after examining all the, um, the videos that were recorded during the experiments. And so as you can see, I summoned the subjects that we have captured and dispersed them, and uh, 25 at a time with these bows. And most of the times we had a couple spiders, so we tried those as well. And what you can see here is all the different types of um, coverings, I'm just going to call them, that you can cover your fall trap with to see if it increases the surface area at which they fall through. Um, and so uh, I did the 25 subjects and then how long it took the first one to actually fall down. And so as you can see, the sloped edge here was 43 seconds and then um, the various different kinds of them, the different, uh, the hashtags, the different types of wedges were like a minute. Um, the seven post with the same alignment and that might differ from uh, more study might elucidate the, um, what happens here, uh, with different angles of approach from the zombies, but, uh, 53 seconds, uh, four rows of the, uh, support posts 20 seconds not bad but the best of course was these uh support posts perpen or per per perpendicular these uh yeah funny ones and um yeah so it took nine seconds for all the subjects to fall down or go around or whatever like they most of them fell down really fast um if you look at the you know first subject down you can see these numbers basically reflect this, um, you know, taking the longest. This one, the quick, this one was a quick first fall, but all in all, these subjects took a long time to fall. And yeah, here you can see uh, graphically that the worst was this three double wedge tip, which is the wedge tip with the little second part to it, and um, the seven post same alignment uh, was not bad either I guess I think the vert vertically putting those ones they might actually do really well they might do on par with the perpendicular ones but we'll see in a future study but anyways so it took uh, just like nine seconds for these little guys to fall down and similarly the results are quite the same except for this one uh, that these guys, the first one fell down really quick, and of course all of them fell down really quick. So this is basically from entry right at the very edge to when they fell. I think that basically covers that. So uh, if you found that useful, give us a like and a subscribe perhaps if you want more interesting content. I try to experiment with things every now and then and try to find out new ways of doing things. Anyway... Uh, with that, I hope you enjoy whatever game you're playing out there. Keep experimenting and having fun. And I will see you in some other video. Thanks. Bye.